this Halloween weekend, ghouls and goblins will come out to play, and one local place said to be haunted, the Belvoir Winery in Liberty. We sent Joel and Carrie there. All right, Carrie in the newsroom right now with more on this ghost hunt. So, Carrie, how did it go? Well, good morning. Joel and I have had a lot of fun with the I Dare series, but this one was a little different because this time we teamed up to take on whatever or whoever is haunting the Belvoir Winery. We ain't afraid, no, Joel. <laughs> If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? Jesse Limekuler calls Creeps Ghost Commandos. His family owns the Belvoir Winery in Liberty. They purchased the property nearly 20 years ago and the ghosts that come with it. I heard footsteps on the second floor. I was supposed to meet somebody out here. I went upstairs, um, looked around, no one was there, and then I saw the person I was supposed to meet was about uh, a half mile away or so. And the stories go on. From haunting voices and children giggling, some people even claim they have been touched by a spirit. Jesse says this is the place to be if you want to connect with the other side. Those kind of people actually come this way. <laughs> Those kinds of people include brothers, Alec and Adam Tillery, and their friend, Gideon Coyle. Right now we're up on the third floor of the Belvoir Winery. There have been reports of children's footsteps walking back and forth and even as loud as almost adult-sized ah! Oh, it's a men's room. <laughs> that was scary. And the hunt is on. The commandos take their roles and their outfits seriously. When we ask questions, we try to collect data, you know, like a name, a year, or something, you know, that attaches it to uh, an actual experience from years past. No one's better at getting answers than Gideon's. They're just attracted to the pe people that are, like, very calm, probably and just want to, you know, go out there and just explore the unknown. I've gotten scared, but, you know, for me, it's a kind of a rush, so <laughs> the, the, most, the more scared I get, the, the better the experience, the better the evidence. Scary stuff. <laughs> Very scary stuff. Yeah. And Diane just asked, was that a camera attached to his shoulder? <laughs> and I think when we were there, you said either that's a camera or it's the ugliest parrot I've ever seen. That's true. <laughs> yes. It was, and I'm lucky they didn't leave me there, to be honest. <laughs> so was there any sign of the uh, paranormal when you were there? Well, uh, there were a paranormal guys walking around. Well, yeah. Yes. No, actually, they, they did say that one of their little gadgets picked up something in the electromagnetic field. Yes. Now, they didn't know what that meant. We didn't hear any voices or anything. Uh, beyond the normal ones, but there uh, it was a you know they were picking something. I will up. say though we were in the main building, the old right. was it the school right, that we right, were in exactly. the old school, and there are some other buildings on the property, and they said some of those other buildings they've had a lot of activity in, like in the hospital, the old the hospital. hospital I guess they hit stuff there all the time. 